Hello friends, good evening and God bless you. Um, today I wanted to share something about Abraham. And when God called Abraham to leave his father's place or the land where his fathers and he has lived to go a totally different place. And you might have heard which is true that God wanted to take him to promised land. It is also true that God wants to take him out from this place and take it to a different place and there is a plan and purpose. And it is also true that the place where Abraham lived was an idol worshipping land. These all are true. But if God wants to bless Abraham, he could have blessed him where he is. If God wants to make a promised land, God could have turned the land where Abraham has lived his life, his father has lived his life, God could have turned that land into promised land. And also, the land which Abraham was told to go was not better than where he was living. Actually, God has to tell Abraham that when you go to the land which I am sending you to, don't follow the lifestyle of the, of the people of that land because they were idol worshippers. So God was taking Abraham from one place and God was sending him to a different place. However, that different place also was no better than where he is coming from. And when I was thinking about all of this, I realized that there is something I have missed in understanding this journey. You see, God has some bigger God, God has some bigger plan, bigger picture about this whole journey. There is something we learn and know about God that is only happens in a journey. And what happened when Abraham left the place and reached into a promised land, the first thing happened, Bible says, is there was a famine in the land. Now, Abraham must have thought, what happened? God told me that he will bless me and God brought me here and now here is a famine. What Abraham did, he did not ask God, nor God told him what to do when there is a famine in the land, which God told him to go. So he went to Egypt. But when he went to Egypt and again he left Egypt, he came with a lot of wealth. I'm not trying to say that we should we should take our own decisions and uh, we should leave our path following God so that he can bless. That's not my point. My point is that whenever, whenever like Abraham made a mistake, it did not fail God's plan. Me and you have made so many mistakes. We have turned left and right in our journey. And we think that we have failed God's plan, but we are not that big enough we can fail God's plan. And God's plan and purpose always fulfills. And he wants to bless us. So what is about this journey? I think during this journey, Abraham has known God. He has talked with God. He has seen his works of his hands. And all, during this all interaction with God, he started realizing who God is. That God is a good God. He is a promise keeper. He never fails. And when he realized who God is, then the day come when God told him that, Abraham, you have to offer your only son as a sacrifice. 
Now Abraham has known God so well that he knew that his, his, his cornerstone was goodness of God. That God never does wrong and God is a good God. And because of those cornerstones, he was ready to offer his only son as a sacrifice. He knew something about God that can only learn, that can be only learned during the journey. I don't know what where you are in your journey with God. You might be in a very first stage where God has told you where you are to move some other place and you are wondering, can I trust God? I believe it is an invitation to explore and know God. It is an invitation God is inviting you to know Him. Or you might have taken a journey and you have come to the place where God has told you to go and there is a famine. And I'm I'm trying to assure you that God knew what he is doing. And even in the famine, God is going to prosper you. And if you are like Abraham, whether trusting God, you make a left turn and went to Egypt. And you have regret that I have failed God. Then I have good news that you cannot fail God. God is going to fulfill his promise and his purpose for your life and he's going to bless you. Abraham came to know God through journey. I believe that was the, the main reason God told Abraham that leave the place where you are and go to the place where I'm sending you to. It is an invitation. So if you are on the journey with God and you don't know why, I think it is an invitation for you to know God personally. I hope God has blessed you tonight. Thank you.